When you think about Greece, you might think it's only about islands and beaches, but it's much more than that. Today we're bringing you with us to a remote region of this beautiful country, hidden deeply in the steep valleys where time seems to stay still. This is Tsumerka. It's my first turtles that I'm seeing here. I'm so happy. Hello. And you should get it. I think she's already an adult. Yeah. We just are on the way to the mountains and we saw a turtles on the street. So we just got out of the car to see whether we need to save it because there are coming more cars but now it looks safe and I ran with my flip flops <laughs> <laughs> We want to see this bridge here and here you have a river that they also use for rafting so I don't think that they will use this river here most probably the big one over there for rafting and the water looks as if it was very cold like you know the typical river that comes from the mountains <laughs> look at this beautiful camper and the dog <laughs> no risk, no fun. And it started to rain, of course. But it's nice after the whole day was 35 degrees. Now it's gonna cool down a little bit here in the mountains. It was raining quite a lot. Yeah. <laughs> we had 30 minutes, 20 minutes of storm, and now the rain is gone, and we are up on the bridge. <laughs> they use the water coming down from the mountains with the stream and the power of the water to make a natural washing machine. They use it to wash their rugs and uh, carpets. What the? <laughs> it's really cool. Have a look. And they just hang their carpets here and leave them to dry and then they take them back. And look at this beautiful view. Quería mostrar algo. Ay, yo me quería hacer. Ay, yo me quería hacer. Eso es tan grosso, eh. Mmm, So, if you didn't know, um, my family has turtles. We have seven, seven at home. And um, they actually like it. Ours, at least. Like it if we touch them a little bit on the top because they have feelings that they can feel it um, and they really like red f food like tomatoes um, cherries they love for example also uh, strawberries so now let's see if he wants to have some tomato <laughs> so we gave them we didn't have any tomatoes so we gave her some apple and rucola and i think she was very happy <laughs> <laughs> And it was so funny because I woke up and then I saw the turtle and I'm like, oh, I feel like home. <laughs> because they're walking all around our garden. 
in Germany and especially in summer and they even come to you and they hear that you're out in the garden they're very curious and they want to see what you're doing I love them <laughs> we just slept in the Tsumerka National Park um, it was a very nice sleep actually, we slept pretty well. We're next to the mountains and we're planning to do a hike today, right? Yeah. It's gonna be a tough hike also because of it's gonna be very hot. Maybe later it's gonna rain, so let's see what's gonna happen today. These are the views from our camping spot. And now let's go. So this time we were smart and brought our water bottle with filter so that we can fill our water and we don't have to bring everything with us. I hope it works because we only have two liters now. Let's hope the fountains marked on the, on the map are still running. If not, we're gonna dehydrate and die. <laughs> <laughs> and around here you can find a lot of bees. You can see all the bee houses. Um, we already saw a beekeeper on the way, so I think the honey here must be also really, really nice. At the beginning of the hike, we have a small church and then we're gonna start with the hike up. I think all of the 650 meters. It will be short but, but hard. <laughs> In this episode, we basically want to show you that Greece is not only beautiful beaches and uh, islands. Greece has so much more to offer, like mountains, like forests. So this time we're going to take you with us to mountains. To the area of Tsumerka. It's actually a national park and there are a lot of really cute villages sitting around the mountains, inside the valleys and uh, you feel like we are traveling through time or something. Like last night we passed through the village of Pramata. People were just sitting on the streets drinking their ouzo or cafe and uh, everything is built out of stone. It's really cute. Sumerica is actually just like two and a half to three hours of drive from Igumenica. So it's actually pretty close. We came from Lefkada, made a stop in Arta and then arrived in the evening. So it, it is not far away if you are there and looking for a weekend in the mountains. I think it's a perfect place to go. You can see there are red marks along the trail. So you're not getting lost, hopefully. <laughs> We just got lost and we actually found here because we took the wrong way a very nice refuge i think you can have also some coffee here but later we're gonna be in a small town where we're probably gonna get some coffee or beer without alcohol and uh, get a little bit of a refreshment because it's pretty hot already i think around 28 30 degrees but good that we are most of the time in the shade are we on the correct way now? Yeah. And apparently we're back on track. Now we have three signals here. Ros Catarates to the waterfalls. Ah. Should be the correct one. Amazing. We can see it already. There is the waterfall. It's gonna be the highlight of our hike today. 
but I mean, the mountains are not bad either. <laughs> and you have this beautiful wall of mountains that we're constantly seeing on the track. And there you have a small, a lot of small little Christmas trees. So beautiful. <laughs> Greece is amazing. We made it to the waterfall and Lee put this t-shirt in the water so he had to cool himself a little bit off but the clouds are already coming so I think we need to go very quickly to see whether we can find some shelter before it starts raining because yesterday we came into full rain and it rained for 30 minutes straight so Let's see if we can find something where we can get a little bit of shelter. Now you can see that the clouds are already coming. I think there's gonna be a storm later or at least heavy rains. So we're gonna try to get as close to the village as possible. So if it starts raining, we can just sit in a coffee and wait until it's over and then keep on with the with the trail. What does this mean, baby? Katafigyo melisurgon. 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 I think it's a... The... Melisurgi is the town. The town. Gata figure. Ah, maybe it's the refuge. Hmm. If there's any Greek watching, please put it in the comments what it means. Thank you. Sorry for the pronunciation. <laughs> This time we have food with us. Yay! With smoked ham, gouda cheese, rucola, and hummus. We have so much food because we had it with us and the fridge is not working well. It's really like Galicia, water everywhere. I love it. There's more water here and you have a small house. You can just sit in there and chill or it's a bus station. It looks like a beautiful bus stop with fresh water supply. Hmm. Icy water from the mountains. Nice. I think you don't have to suffer from dehydration here. Nochmal eine Schildkröte. Hallo. The kid is here. Two tortoises already today. Yes. Happy day. Happy day. I love the Greek engineering. In Spain they have the same. I love them. Whee! Whee. Yay! Yay! Woo! So you don't have to touch it. Guess what? What turtle? This is so cute. So extremely cute. Hello. Not a big one. They're all afraid. Really shy too. Yeah. But I'm so happy that I'm finally seeing turtles here. I was waiting on the islands. I said, Lee is lying to me because we haven't seen one turtle. And now we're seeing a few. I'm pretty sure that you can get really good quality honeys here. Like even the name of the town is called Meli Surgi. Meli is honey. I have no idea what Surgi means but you can see beehives everywhere. Mm -hmm. 